loud noises, getting those out of the way. Does Todoist have a Windows app or a desktop app? You betcha. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about what it looks like on the desktop, how it works, and whether or not you may want to use it from that. Of course, it's available on mobile, in the browser, all of that sort of stuff. But let's just head over to the desktop app. Hey, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy, and today, as I said, we're going to be looking at the desktop app. On this, I am on Windows, and basically what you see is what you get. You're going to see the same layout as you've seen on the browser. That is the good news. Um, I'm also a really big fan of Todoist uh, mobile app. on the. F um, I use Android, but if you use the iPhone, if you use an iOS device, that's nice too. I've seen it on all sorts of different devices. Very smooth, very easy to use. But of course, here we're just talking about the desktop app. Now, how you would expect this to operate is very similar. You can do a lot of things with the desktop app if you like that kind of focused feature um, or the focus mode, I guess I would call it, of not having all those browser tabs. Maybe you want to just really focus on it or you just feel it runs better, I don't, whatever that may be. But I think those are the two biggest ones and the biggest one for me with desktop apps being if you really want to focus, you know, shut down the browser or minimize it, um, that you can then focus on the task at hand. In general, I do work with the browser for a bunch of different apps, but I understand why people might do this, and I've done it with certain apps myself. So um, same feature set we've got, you know, on the left-hand bar here on your toolbar, you can open and close your sidebar, and of course that gets you into all of your um, normal stuff here, search, inbox, today, upcoming. Um, as well, which now they recently have updated the views on the upcoming and the calendar view. Um, so this is really nice if you're a paid user, you can access the calendar mode. If not, you don't get to use it, but it's not a huge deal. Todoist is still great uh, without that. And of course, you've still got uh, projects. You can create different projects, um, get into your filters and labels, all of that. So really simple, uh, just wanted to share if you're not familiar, or you're thinking about using Todoist, but wanted to see how it looks compared to maybe what you've seen in screenshots um, or other videos of you know the browser or the mobile device, this is what it looks like on desktop. If you got any questions or comments, just uh, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you.